well, a little bit after a first flight. And uh, that means our cruise, <laughs> two days aboard Margaritaville at Sea Paradise, well, that's not what it says up there, is over. And, uh, well, time to get packed up and uh, ready to leave. We are uh, actually still sailing. Uh, well, you can see land, but uh, we'll probably be alongside in less than an hour, I suppose. Don't really know what the schedule was. Oh, uh, boy. Uh, oh, boy. Well, so I already have my coffee. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's it. Feel pretty good, uh, despite uh, my challenge last night. And uh, that's because, oh, geez. Very simple. <laughs> Always stay hydrated. Uh, all right, I'm going to... I'll grab my coffee and uh, walk around for a little bit. And um, I don't know, just got time to kill at this point. Even though it's early morning, reminders of uh, the party last night remain. There's a plate over there. Uh, now chairs aren't really arranged. MSC had this problem. They wouldn't tidy up spaces until the next morning. Mm, kind of a, well, let me say it's a bad show. Not something you would ever find. Uh, actually, you'd never see this. Uh, in Carnival in the Region Royal, they clean up everything every night. It's always spotless. So maybe this is something that should be added to the crew rotation. At least there's pancakes this morning. There you go. And French toast. Well, they had French toast yesterday. And uh, this has been taunting me all trip. But uh, alas, never available. Oh, no. Oh, my lovelies, why are you trapped? Oh, so far away, yet so close. Uh, you will fit in my bag, won't you? If that's for us, pilot is cutting it close. We are almost at the first marker. Yeah, it is for us, but uh, I think this is uh, probably a very uh, routine operation for them. But you know what? Uh, always safety first. Okay, I promise on my next cruise, I will not complain about how far my stateroom is from Cafe Promenade because coffee here is all the way at the back of the ship. I was uh, not all the way forward, but pretty far forward. And just to walk from well, where I was watching the pilot back here. Well, it's not that far. It's a small ship, but still. Ay, ay, ay. Welcome back to Port of Palm Beach. There's parking all the way over there, and there's parking right here. I still don't understand why it's valet only. It worked out for me because I was able to make my uh, fun plans around Brightline, but uh, I don't know. It's kind of uh, silly and frustrating. I got no debarkation information, so nothing to share i'm gonna go down i think uh, my folio was printed out maybe there's something in there but no luggage tags or anything nobody put any luggage out so i guess they just expect everyone to uh carry their bags on their own or maybe you have to make special arrangements uh i don't know i mean i'm fine i just have to carry on so it doesn't matter to me that's all i was gonna uh bring anyway but i'm not even sure what time uh, we're supposed to be off the ship i think nine o'clock is when uh they're uh, gonna start the uh, debarkation process probably hang out a little bit because uh, my Brightline Plus doesn't come until 9.45 I think either way it's fine I will be uh, ready to go probably by then and uh, uh, well just eager to get back and uh, well I don't know <laughs> today's Monday we have to work while I'm walking around I just want to point out something that's become way too prevalent in our society I, I wanted to get this shirt right here but I couldn't because all there was left were large and extra large and double XL. I think it's long that, uh, well, this culture of thin phobia that we have to deal with is, it's very hurtful, you know, and it prevents us from doing so many things that you know, we just want to do to make our life better and live our best life. So now I, I will not have that beautiful pink uh, floral and uh, palm tree print shirt and I don't know, it's it's just so tragic. I mean, how could we have sunk to this level where people like me are just so blatantly discriminated against and, uh, I don't know, kept on the edge of society and unable to uh, enjoy the fashion choices that we, we so deserve. Sadly, it was not to happen, but, well, I guess this just means I have something to look forward to. All right, well, let's try to keep a happy attitude, I guess. No, I'm not bitter at all.
I ended up with a total of $473.50 in credits, and with all my shopping escapades yesterday, I am leaving the ship owing only $5.95. Somehow I managed to fit my haul into that backpack and that rollerboard, and uh, it fits kind of comfy. All right, the uh, cabin is not too bad. There is a bed behind there. I presume this is all original equipment. Still has those weird leather uh, pulls. The bathroom is, uh, okay. There are curtains for the shower. Uh, um, yeah, that is fine. Uh, the spray was, the water pressure and everything was fine. Um, what are we, oh, right, no shelves. There are no shelves on either side. So you are stuck with just this little bit of space here. Nah, it did not work. However, I will uh, give them that. There is a fair amount of surface area. Uh, then the hanging closet, well, more surface area here, more surface area here, and then of course the desk. Which meant that, uh, well, that's a little, right, that's where you sit. Which meant that, uh, again, like Carnival Conquest, another older ship, everything uh, wasn't cluttered. Uh, you know what, I, I presume there is a fridge there or a beverage locker. I mean, I didn't open it, so uh, whatever. I don't know if this is new uh, for Margaritaville or whether it was always here. That looks new because uh, the typeface is the same as what's everywhere. This, don't know, Bahamas Paradise, that could have been there forever. Anyway, it was uh, not too bad, except for the lack of shelves in the bathroom, but I, I made it work. I didn't really have anything in there. Anyway, uh, remember, my guy didn't really travel with much, so all I had was my little teeny travel uh, toothbrush kit, and that's it. All right, I am uh, going to head out, and I don't know, I might try to reschedule my train because uh, I have an hour and a half before the pickup, and I'm, I'm done. I mean, I could just... Uh, well, walk off the ship, so <laughs> um, let me see about that, and then uh, I'll get out of these guys' way so they can turn the room for the next uh, next guests. Goodbye, fair Margaritaville at Sea Paradise. It was a fun two days. Would love to come back, so I will uh, definitely see where we can fit this in on the calendar, and uh, well, see everything finished. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. I am back in the United States. Uh, the whole entry process was pretty painless. I got there at the right time. I got in the passport queue and there is one, two, three, four, five people ahead of me by the time I got to the end. It had snaked around three switchbacks. So that worked out very well. I was able to change my pickup for uh, Brightline Plus to an hour earlier. So I'm gonna get to the station and I, I expect to be able to switch to an earlier train, which will get me home an hour earlier. And uh, that is all good. So. Yeah, so far very, very smooth. And uh, remember, always have a passport. Always, always have a passport. Passport line gets priority because it's easy for them to do. And um, also, I heard <laughs> for anyone paying for the priority debarkation or whatever, um, it helps, but at uh, customs, they don't care. They just alternate between the lines and uh, yeah equal treatment, so I don't know. Worked out for me, I only had to wait uh, a couple of minutes. All right, so my car should be here in maybe five minutes and uh, then the train ride. I don't know if I'm gonna show you that because it's gonna be the exact same thing as getting here in reverse. I don't know if you've already seen that, but if not, probably that will be coming soon, my Brightline Premier and Brightline Plus trip to Palm Beach. All right, uh, just gonna sit here. Nice day, nice day for work, unfortunately. I know I already said that, but yeah. That's what's waiting. And uh, CBP does scan your bags on the way in, into the country, way out of the terminal. Something that I, I've i never experienced before. I, well, I know it kind of makes sense in a way. Uh, maybe not a problem, but just uh, something kind of caught me off guard. Okay, I think my, my Brightline Plus is here. Off the ship and onto the train. Here I am on bright red, headed back to Miami. It was a fun weekend aboard Margaritaville at Sea Paradise that name, oh boy. And uh, you know, some things weren't ready, so I did miss some things. Bar menus, I, I heard uh, some of the menu items in the dining room were not exactly the way they wanted them. So I may have to go back just to get the full experience. But oh well, <laughs> it's just another reason 
why I am thankful for my problems. Thank you.